So I first heard about Bitcoin in 2013 when I was browsing Darknet and it was around $200. I didn't pay much attention to it. And then 2017 came. And at this time, Bitcoin was around $1,000, $1,200 when I saw it on TV or on the news that it's new money and everyone was crazy about it. And I've always been the quiet kid that listens and observes people. So I thought to myself, if everyone's talking about it, it can't be good, right? So I stayed away from it. And at this time, I wasn't really interested in making money that much. I, I, I'm, I'm just doing my job, getting paid and doesn't matter to me that much and then it hit 20,000 and now everyone is talking about the crash right and now I'm getting pretty interested about making money at these levels but I didn't look into Bitcoin yet I was just studying the basics of investing and stuff and then I saw one video and it was around here in December, around here, and it was like, is Bitcoin dead or will it recover? So I got interested in it, but like didn't really pay much attention to it. And here I said to myself, well, well let's try it, let's put Let's put a little bit in and see what happens. And then it was, yeah, it was April 1st, I think. On April Fools, it pumped from 4,000 to 5,000 in one day. And I said to myself, well, this is going to be it. It's going to reach over 100,000 in next few years. So I'm just going to buy. So I bought and at this time like 9600 i bought a lot so this is where i got into bitcoin it go it went to 14000 and i was feeling like a genius right because i was up so much because i was buying here and it crashed and I was just buying along because I saw the 100,000 in few years. So I didn't care about the drops. I just bought and bought every time I could. And then it crashed in March 2020. And my first reaction was like, holy shit, maybe I was wrong, but then Everyone panicked so much that I knew like what changed about Bitcoin, nothing, only the price dropped. So I bought around, I think it was 4,600 or something. I bought quite a lot and it was uh, from the retrospective, you can see it was the best time to buy since since here so and then it went up and up and up and it went to 58k or yeah 63k 64k so at this time everyone thought it was gonna crash and well it did but the worst part for me was I thought I knew everything because I, I bought so early that I was up so much and I thought I got this I, I know everything about this so around here around 47,000 I placed a long position so basically you borrow money and you buy more I did it here but you borrow money and as a collateral you put your own bitcoin so that's what i did 
and it crashed a bit and I was forced to deposit even more and around around 29 here or 32 31 I I put basically most of my crypto as a collateral so I thought it can't go back to 20k if it went to 17k I think I would have lost everything almost everything but I was so sure because I was so I was right many times before that I was so sure it's not gonna go to 17k so yeah I I held my position and it bounced back it bounced back from here and I was up again for the 8k I was up it tested one more time I I wasn't panicking at all it's just a normal correction after this move and now I was up and it went to 68 or 70k almost right here I was up I was chilling and <clears throat> but with the position in mind I thought this this is one heavy correction and now we're gonna go to 100k plus so I didn't sell anything and I held it and right around this time I think yeah right around this time I actually withdrew some of my Bitcoin and bought few altcoins that I really believe in still and but what it did it reduced the it reduced the collateral that I had in my position so I bought these altcoins and they went up quite a lot and then they uh, they went back down now they are down again but what it did is it it pushed the limit that I can drop to higher right because I withdrew it and the price drop and and bounced and yeah right around here I knew I mean I thought it's not gonna go lower than this and I almost got liquidated here around 20 something I would have got liquidated but I didn't and I talked to myself it's a higher low it can't go lower I was right all these times basically I didn't expect this correction to be that hard but I was right again it's not gonna go to 17 or 25,000 so I'm right again and the price went to 48 and I was break even again on my position and said to myself it's gonna go up and then it dropped and we are here and I got liquidated around here from this position where most of the altcoins were up to this position I'm down around 93% maybe it's more than 90% that I'm down from here to here because I lost most of my position so what's the what's the story about this well I didn't get burn any time from this level where I where I was buying I had the illusion that I am right because I was up massively here I was down here I was down a lot but bought more and I was massively massively up here but didn't get liquidated here so I thought to myself I know this market and the worst I mean the the biggest lesson for me is I didn't take anything I didn't I sell I sold some around here some altcoins but didn't really take massive profits and now I'm basically broke <laughs> because I got debt and I I didn't pay it paid off I should have sold something here or here 
or doesn't matter even here anywhere here i should have sold something and pay off at least part of my debt my main takeaways from this is take profits i i follow bob lucas who took profits on 28k and then he took some profits here and i said to myself why take profits on 28,000 when it can go to 100 and well now I know why <laughs> so that's that's point number one and second maybe most important one is even when you are right like I was right here when I bought and like seven other times I was right about this market but the eighth one crushed me to the knees so never assume you are right you can always be wrong and i think i needed this this punishment because i felt i felt really confident about myself in in this market in cryptocurrencies but the market showed me i was wrong and i guess it always shows you how wrong you are on your losses right how much you lose percentage wise shows you how much you were wrong it's a hard lesson but uh, now i know far more than i knew before and that's that's how you get experience right you don't get experience if you never fail so I failed very hard here and now I can learn from it so I hope this video helps someone most people probably bought here and now they are just down or never use leverage guys in these kind of markets when you can have 10x move in one year you don't need to use leverage and if if Bitcoin even if Bitcoin now drops to 11k and then it bounces to 100 you won't lose anything but when you use leverage like i did you can lose mostly everything so that's the third takeaway from this or use stop loss but it's very hard to very hard to take losses when you think you are right like i explained so yeah, that's it.